All right. Welcome in, everyone. Welcome in, Hircine, Ethan, Christopher. Welcome, guys. I don't know how long I'm going to have to stream. Uh, I might have to do this as a as a two-part stream or maybe just one short stream, maybe one normal stream. I don't know yet. Uh, I've got my dog at the groomers, so whenever he's ready, I will have to go pick him up, but it might not be till late. Uh, so, we are on new character, new uh, updated the, the mod list, updated community shaders and everything. Unfortunately, we died on the mage, but that lets us start anew. And when we are able to start anew, you already know. We got to play a shout build. Approach my child and choose where your new life shall begin. And we're going to go, uh, I'm going to edit the options here. So that I'm only going to have like four options and like change some of the dialogue here. But with uh, Ghouls Left for Dead add on, uh, it doesn't seem to like me editing anything. Uh, I'm going to change the uh, dialogue option that says I was attacked and left for dead. I'm going to change it to uh, I will leave my journey to fate. The light of hope shines even for you. Just because obviously saying attacked and left for dead and then spawning into a spot and getting a bunch of gear doesn't sound very correct. Yeah, we played, uh, we did the shout necro build with the cap. So we, we went to the cap shout cooldown, but it was changed since then. So that graybeard robes give uh, bypass shout cooldown. Uh, end game will be probably graybeard robes. Vegetable soup, and I'll do an ale. Oops. Three, four, five. Um, oh, that costs five tokens. That's crazy. Did we just get camping in the woods again? Ghoul, we're gonna have to have a talk. Oh my god. This is basically camping in the woods. <laughs> Alright. Well, I guess we'll be able to get... Uh, our hunter's axe, after all. Yeah, we, uh, we, I mean, we made it pretty far, but we died to, uh, on Kano. Camping slightly further from the woods. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, let's take our perks. Uh, we're going to go one point in evasion. And then one point into two handed. Ooh, I could put a second point into two handed. We could start power attacking. That actually sounds pretty good. Look, her scene, it's your shrine.
All right, bandits, I've got the high ground. What will you do now? Probably shoot at me. Stop that. This is the end for you. You call yourself a Nord? Good start. Classic Ford power attack from these bastards. Take you. That the best you can do. Get out of my face. Damn it. I really hate quarterstaff bandits. Having to burn two potions on one stupid bandit is so annoying. Won't be the last. Bad time to look at my phone, I guess. Someone's gonna get hurt. You die already, so I can take your stuff. Let's say there should be one more. For some reason, he's hanging out in the back. Oh, I need to turn on uh, Smart Harvest. Headshot. Looks like a Breton. You won't leave here alive. <laughs> nice. The mage died to Uncano yesterday. Was it yesterday? I think that's when we played last. Sounds about right. So now we're on to a Nord Barbarian Shout build. If we can make it far enough into the the shout part of it, I have some plans to do some funny things. Damn. Another quarterstaff. A oh, red guard quarterstaff, too. lucky with some uh, potions here. That oh, I look goofy as shit.
What's the leather trait now? Oh, it's still slash resistance. Then Hammerfell armor is performing regular attacks, costs less stamina. Fucking lower this. What are we, full leather now? Okay. Or I guess we have hide bracers. The uh, Time to end this bat files. Looks like we got ourselves a hero. Is that another quarter staff, dude. What You're the fuck? That's like the fourth quarter staff bandit already. It's kind of cursed. Nord Barbarian shout build. We've just come across our fourth. We, we've we fought probably six bandits so far, and this is our fourth quarter staff bandit. It's like the game knows that I hate fucking fighting these motherfuckers. They're so cheesy early on. It's ridiculous. We did random start, and we started in Falkreath. I'm probably going to gear up to go run to... Uh... To the Falkreath Tower or whatever. And get our... Uh... Woodsman's friend. The dollar staff. Yeah. I'm, I fucking hate quarter staves, dude. They're so annoying. Ooh, ale. Don't mind if I do. Is that another quarter staff? Bro! What is going on? Five quarter staves? In the. In oh my god, this guy's tanky. Holy shit. Like, what the fuck is going on? Alright, he, he will jump down. Maybe. Okay, did she just like double? You're a fool to fight. This is some like ridiculous unluck. should have grabbed Woodsman's friend first. Tempted to use one of my knock scrolls on him just to stun him.
<laughs> Thanks, fool. Thanks for the pillar, ghoul. I greatly appreciate it. Oh my god. It takes like no damage. Pretty nice axe. Miss when they were a player only option? Well, quarter staves used to never exist. It was just battle staves. And it was like only Elsie that had a battle staff, really, or like mages. But then when quarter staves came out, they're like, yeah, let's give them to bandits. And I was like, yeah, no, that's a fucking terrible idea. Okay, so. Uh, my bounty file, my bat files are not going to be working. So let me get those pulled up real quick. Mods, bounty, bats. Open these. We'll do this. Do this. Help. In sight. Or elk. Do it one more time so I can read it properly. All right. Uh. Are these all in order? Okay, forty-eight fifteen says forty-five fifteen. Forty-five and forty-seven. Forty-seven eleven. Yes. Five. Five, forty-seven, forty-seven. All right, B A T bounty two. Perfect. And then tree tweaks. We'll do one point one. We get the <sighs> so we're out of healing potions. So we need to go buy healing potions now. Hey, thank you for the healing potion. And the good thing is, even though we used a bunch of healing potions, is that we needed potion. We needed to use them. Oh, more healing. Nice. Uh, so that we could uh, craft potions once we get alchemy. Oh, come on. Elven Greatsword? Damn. Ooh, Staff of Raise Dead 3. Yo, Ghoul, thank you for the food, my man. Like, some some nice starting food here. Holy, holy Jeebus. Oh, some goat legs. they're like a weird slash in the health it says 195 oh no I want what's in there let's go all right we're gonna go evasion to 20. 
And then... Do we level alchemy next or just go two-handed? Oh, actually, no, wait, we want evasion 25 now. That's right. The evasion changes, we definitely want evasion 25. And we're gonna go probably like two level ups into stamina and then we'll start going health. And I want dodge perk. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I feel like this is not the right way. We still have ale, healing poultice, baked potatoes. All that's still going for a few minutes. Um, let's see here. We definitely want to go to Falkreath Watchtower. I might do that before I go like farming mud crabs and shit because if we're gonna die here then there's no point in doing the rest of it right you know i'm willing to count this little bridge over here as a bounty one since there's no chest and you're you're clearing the way for merchants to go by on the road i think that's pretty fair Also, that guy did not take that much damage. Oh, that time he did, because that was a headshot. Just give up. What's up, Meech? We're playing everyone's favorite, not a shout build. I'm just kidding. This time. This time it is a shout build. Uh I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to do the whole surprise, what are we playing kind of thing. If, uh, if we can manage to make it decently far into this character, like level 15 or so. Well, really, once we once we start shouting, come on, then I want to try. I'm going to test it out before I invest levels into it, but I want to try uh, sneak shouts. I don't have a uh, ghoul smashers uh, sneak shout plug in. Uh, rather, I still have the, uh, oh, come on, the old, oh, you shooting something else. I have the old, uh, sneak attack, the magic sneak attack plug-in. I'm not really sure. I'm going to also just play it like a barbarian for a little while, kind of just enjoy the barbarian play style. Maybe I might go smithing just to make, like, uh, is he out of arrows? Yeah, he is. Go, like, for cushion battle axes, maybe? I have to see. Alright, we're gonna count this as a bounty one. Just because we are clearing the road for merchants. And there's no chest here to get, so... Feels fair to me. Nordic arrows. I 
Once again, we did a random start and we got camping in the woods, basically. But rather than doing the camping start right away, we uh, we did Pinefall hideout first. I'm going to go grab uh, attempt to grab Woodsman's friend and see if we can survive that encounter. dodge perk I always I don't know about you guys but I always forget that I have dodge perk early on uh, we should probably just go ahead and discover Falkreath I guess we'll do some Falkreath locations before we move on to like doing camping in the woods or whatever alright so I think first perks we want to get I want to get Oh, I should level Illusion, actually. Even if I don't end up doing the sneak stuff, I'm still going to go Illusion. For at least uh, empowered uh, Shadow Cloak. I don't mind some of the starts being closer to the good metal ones, so it's nice to have a chance at getting something familiar. Yeah. And we don't have to do the, the full on camping start. Like, sure, we started over there, but we don't have to go straight to Ember Shard. We can come over here to Falkreath and do some of the locations. I was going to play a uh, greatsword focused build. I was, I was going to do like an RK greatsword build. But I was looking at the the light of RK and then like the Paladin Greatsword, and those are both just kind of trash, honestly. Ooh, we could get a nice battle axe upgrade. I think I'm good though. Oh, but we can lure the uh, conjurer if we need to now. Oh, great. They've already heard us. Fireballs. And yeah, we might die here. Uh oh. Wait a second. Hold on. We're just testing something real quick. I just want to see if it actually got moved. Okay, never mind. It is right here. I was going to go upstairs and check the chest. That was the only reason I did that, because I was going to go upstairs, but then I saw it was just there. I think it should be moved to the top floor and just be put on top of the chest, because why not? We know who you are. So you better come with us right now. I don't know who you think I am. I don't care. Leave me alone. I don't have time for this foolishness. Now come along quietly, and we won't have to get rough. Brother, I think she's telling the truth. I'm not going anywhere. Now back off before Someone I do something drastic. She doesn't have the stuff. Nah, I think it I think it's still strong enough as is, even if it did get moved to the chest upstairs. Come on. Get close to the tree. You little shit. We do like no damage. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Probably dead here. 
We just got poisoned. We got fireballs being slung at us. Not the best start, but we managed. Yeah, the previous damage numbers that had Meech, it was it was the same stats as like a Daedric uh, battle staff, which was pretty nuts. Same, I think the only difference was the reach. It had the same speed and the same uh, damage. Don't think it needs that. something for just about everybody in here give a holler perfect <laughs> some may call this junk me i call them treasures steal anything from my shop and you'll regret it would have been a lame way to go for sure all right we can uh we can go do some of the ones over here Can at least do banner mist. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you there. I think uh, Lala said he plans on having his uh, update out by like next month. So within the next month, we should have updated Lala Land, I think. Unknown location. Interesting. Never seen that location tag before. Yeah, the La La Land looks clean. I just don't like the UI and the UI sounds. It just doesn't feel very Skyrim to me. It feels very out of place. Headshot. Oh yeah. Now we're in business. This location's always terrifying though because uh the boss at the end is usually a trickster. Try different grass mods. Don't like how grainy things look. <clears throat> yeah, I like the just the huh? clean sky UI look. I I heard something. Go ahead yes. and and fight back.
Every time I see that Dun reward come out, I think it's an enchanted dagger coming out and I always get terrified. See here, we can take a slaughterfish. Thought I heard something. Hey, leather bracers. We got the full set now. We are immune to slash resist. Uh, I use cathedral, actually. Cathedral landscapes for my grass. Um, I think anvil comes with verdant. Or at least the newer versions are on verdant. But uh, I switched over to cathedral. I like cathedral. It's pretty... Simplistic. Yeah, a little barbarian action. Been so long since I think my sword arm's getting flabby. What was that? Can you believe that Thorn nerfed our Blue Mountain Flower? It has Fortify Conjuration first now. Shit. Which would be the best for the first time? Best list? For the first time, um, well, right now, RK's well, Lala Land's just outdated is the only issue, but it should be getting updated in the near future. Uh, but RK's commandment also slightly outdated right now, should be getting updated in the near future. Either list will be fine, especially once RK's gets updated, it'll be, I think, a little less crazy with like the bandit spawns and stuff. You'll still have more spawns, but I don't think it'll be to the same degree. Here we go with the fortify smithing potions again. All right, here's our sixth asshole with the quarter staff. Of course. Put a little ring around the rosy. See, will we get to the point where he'll go around the other way? Yes. Yeah. I'll sort of curse you. What did she have? She wasn't the strongest, but... Better than nothing.
I'd like to have some backup going into this trickster room. Potential trickster room. Is that another quarter staff? Jesus! What is going on? With all the quarter staves, man. It's actually ridiculous. I feel like my game is rigged. We'd be able to dual cast this if we got it there, but I'll level it anyways. Definitely can't dual cast it anytime soon, but it's fine. I just need a single cast it right now anyways. Uh, we're playing like a shout build. Barbarian, Nord, Lover, Talos, Battle Axes. Eventually going the, the shout. The shouting ways. Uh, CB, yes, it is compatible out of the box. The only thing is that it, uh, I think it, oh, I did not realize there was stuff back here. That's cool. Um, the only thing, uh, that it does is it does edit vendor, uh, lists. I don't know if it like overrides it to the point where it might cause issues, but I just deleted the, uh, the vendor list part of it. Just so it's uh, it only it only adds the bottles, and then I reduce the weight to zero for the empty bottles. Okay, cool. How long does this fucking undead last? Oh wait, they already passed. See here, Banner Mist is this way. Yeah, I have my ingredients weightless. But I have my auto loot mod set up to only harvest up to 15 items automatically of a certain of any ingredient. Some of them it kind of ignores this on though. But you can see like some of these are already capped at 15. It's not going to loot anymore. But if you were to set something to a whitelist, it'll bypass that. Uh, so do I already have 15 more Tapanella? 
I don't. I'm just for some reason, it's not auto-looting it. Um, but it's having having it require potion bottles or empty bottles is just like my personal way of balancing early game alchemy, so I don't just have endless resources. Especially since I do play with uh, weightless and auto loot. Reactions there. Saved my ass. This guy's a quick, a quick, quick load. Did I grab the evasion perk? I think I did, right? Yes. I have a little crossbow battle. Except he's fucking reloading way faster than me. Let's go. Wow. Uh, the only issue with going like full scaled armor is going to be, or more scaled armor is going to be the uh, magicka costs. All right, we can still cast this, which I probably should have recasted that. Oops. Um, let's see here. This was a bounty. I'm going to give it a bounty one. It's a pretty straightforward location. Uh, we go two handed to 25. Um, I'm not really sure what we level after 2 and 25. I don't think I want to do alteration on this build. It seems like a bit much. I think at this point we can start making our way back over to camping. drop over by the alchemist's camp. Pick up some ingredients. Oh, we need to level alchemy next. Actually, do I even care about these? Fortify blow. Oh, resist magic. Yes. I would like these.
The mud crab never stood a chance. When you have a when you have range on a mud crab, they don't stand a chance. The only thing they ever get you with is that deceptive range of theirs. The python. Welcome, welcome. Crossbows for mud crabs. Give mud crabs a, a mud throw. Mud shot. Give them a crab hammer. Water gun. Give them something to work with. Oh, those glowing eyes. I think that's new. With uh, shaders. Ugh. A little spooky. Not an archer. These mud crabs dead. They are. My XP. My XP farm has been ruined. It's been ruined. I use a uh, cathedral landscapes grass. Quite nice. It's very simple, like minimalistic simple. I think it looks really natural. Oh God. Is that the same spider from earlier? No, that's an even bigger one. Oh shit. Didn't even notice the mud crabs. is most annoying. Not at this time. I didn't play the other dragon's dogma, so don't have an innate interest in it. Watched a little bit of gameplay of it, not much. want to swim across, but I don't want the big fuck to catch me. I think the big fuck is over there. That's just a regular one. I think the fishermen fell off their boat. Yeah, thanks, Python. Yep. All right, we're one shot in Slaughterfish. That's how strong we are. I haven't looked into it all, but I've seen some negative thumbnails. 
I'm being misleading. 70% of YouTubers. I don't watch the videos. I just look at the thumbnails. Why does this look like a cave entrance? Alright, we got 50% frost resistance. We could do Illinaltos Deep, right? Wait till the ultimate letdown comes out. The Elder Scrolls 6 Skyrim 2. I'm not fucking with that big ass mud crab. That fucker will get revenge for me killing his other buddies. Guaranteed. That guy was huge. Imagine if The Elder Scrolls 6 was just a remake of Oblivion in Skyrim's engine. Could you imagine? Oh, 100% modded Skyrim's going to be better than Elder Scrolls 6 unmodded. Yeah, after buying Starfield, I'm like, you know what? I'm not buying I'm not buying full price games. Unless uh it's a game I'm really wanting. I'm just not gonna waste my money on that. I have other things I can waste my money on. Like Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I've been uh <laughs> Not spending money, I've been investing. It's an investment. I'm investing a lot of money in, in retro Yu-Gi-Oh cards. What's up, Julie? Just playing a little uh, Nord Barbarian. The Wildlife Slayer. Copium. <laughs> I don't even want to know how much money I've spent in the last year <laughs> on Retro Yu-Gi-Oh. It's got to be something insane. There's been a lot of cards, though, that I've been invested in that have uh, significantly gone up in value. Ah, oh, yeah, this is a, uh, a Nord Loverstone Talos Worshipper. So we're going for the the classic shout build. But last time, I mean, I've never done it this way doing evasion. Um, we're going, the, the plan is to eventually go full robes. The ultimate plan would be to get the, uh, the Sigic, the corrupted Sigic robes or whatever mixed with, uh, mixed with, um, wait, I missed encounter, uh, mixed with the gray beard robes so we can get full shout cooldown uncapped no cap oh ebony dagger I was hoping for ebony battle axe that'd have been sick 
Jinzo. I did, I already picked up three copies of the Secret Rare 10, uh, the one that came out in the 10 back in like 06. I got three copies of that Jinzo. I've got a lot of friends at locals that are starting to upgrade their ultimate rare, their old ultimate rare cards to first editions. So I've been buying their, oh yeah, I haven't got the treasure map yet. I've been buying their unlimited copies for pretty cheap. Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh is like a stock market. There was a, uh, for retro Yu-Gi-Oh, there was a tournament not too long ago for Edison format where someone played with a card. I think it was a hero. No, not a hero emerges. I can't remember. It was some hero card and the ultimate rare was like four dollars. So I picked up three copies for like four bucks a pop and now they're worth like 30 or something. Which is pretty funny. There's a uh, one card for the frog deck substitute that hasn't been reprinted since its original printing. I picked up copies of that a long time ago for like maybe ten dollars a copy, and I think they're all worth like thirty or forty now. Stonks, we got them stonks. Uh, where's the other wolf? It's only slightly concerning. Substitute. It's a great name. Your blood won't bother me. Come on. Pretty predictable, buddy. Now, see, profit would be if I bought multiple sets so that I have one to keep and one to sell. But no, I just bought the one to keep. <laughs> That's why, it, yeah, investment is the the wrong word. Yeah, I don't play modern, so I have no idea what something like that would go for. I have a friend at locals, though, that uh, has like max rarity light sworn from 2010, and his deck is probably worth like $3,000, I'd imagine. Probably more. The real expensive cards are like the champion pack cards from back in the day, because you only got those if you, uh,. If you like uh, won tournaments and got the packs to, or I, I guess if you entered tournaments and got the packs. Well, this is awkward. Over here doing fucking camping start at level four and having a harder time than if I did it at level one. I used to buy uh, Japanese cards because they were typically cheaper. But if you go to like fully Konami sanctioned tournaments, you can't use them. So I ended up uh, upgrading them to English. One of the cards I bought was a Ghost Rare Honest. And I bought them for $25 a copy. And now they're worth $50 a copy. And I bought the English ones for like $60 a copy. And now I'm selling the Japanese ones for like $40 a copy. Stonks. So that helps pay for the uh, English ones that I'm buying. You're a fool to test me. Last mistake. You start running so I can stab you in the back. Let's see what you've got. Yeah, one of my friends at locals, he's selling me some uh, ultimate rare Blackwing Vayu Emblem of Honors. They go for like $80 a copy right now, but he's going to sell them to me for $50 a piece. So $150 for the playset is really not a bad price. It sounds insane to somebody on the outside, but $150 for that playset of a card that's probably never going to go down in price because it's one of the better cards in the format. What you going to do? means it'll always be, hold its value. Ah. 
just play Master Duel. Uh, let's see. And Poultice. The most expensive card I own is... Uh, I have a Dark Duel Story uh, Exodia Head, which is basically uh, a card that came out of a pack from the Dark Duel Stories GBA game from like 2004. Uh, you would get a pack of like three cards, I think. It was like, a, like three or six cards. Um, and I've managed to hold on to one of them since then. And uh, it's in decent condition, but it's hard to find somebody who's actually interested in buying one. But if I had a serious person interested, then I could probably sell it for like 1500 Playing, uh, yep. Yeah, Nord Barbarian. Nord Barbarian with a little bit of illusion magic for uh, just from some extra arrow protection. We'll primarily go light armor for the majority of the game, and then like end game, we'll go uh, robes. So that's where the uh, illusion is really going to help. I want to experiment with uh, maybe sneak shouts, but we'll have to see how that goes. Alright, vegetable soup only has like eight minutes left. Let's see if we can't crush Ember Shard. No, we're not gonna be fighting uh on Kano. Duelist of the Rose. I'm not sure if I'm familiar with what that is. Okay, let's go ale and here's slaughterfish. What? How did he hit me? Gonna get ourselves killed trying to speedrun this location. Avoid using, uh, where's he going? Damn you. That was scary. I'll have your Hit him with a nothing personal fight. kid. Tempted to use this because it looks cool and more damage, but it's just so much slower. They always power attack. Oh, look at him with the cancel. With the cancel. Time. So got time. Like six tens of classic cards back in the day. And two binders. Yeah, sold them in the yard sale. Hate to see it. Oh, interesting, James. Uh, hold on. I saw someone mention something about how did you start a permadeath Ultima run? What early items? Uh, I would probably focus on increasing magic resistance so stuff like Irvinon's necklace um, uh, maybe getting maybe getting uh, if you're not if you're going like light armor or something you could go for Elaine's chest piece wearing scaled armor probably wouldn't be too bad just depends on the build I saw I got Orcish, could be Dwarven, Nordic as well. Hmm, interesting. 
Shrine of Talos near Winterhold. Okay, we saw five minutes on all this. Crazy. That's the problem. Like, if I want to switch to the uh, the ancient Nord War axe, I just don't have the speed to be able to do that. two-handed. Uh, it's two damage better than what I have now. Shock resist? Bounty three. Oh, no. Rover encumbered. All right, I'm not going to use this then. No point. Oh, yeah. Baiting those power attacks is... Uh, it's three tweaks 101, that's for sure. Okay. We got lots of... Lots of insight points. Uh, we are going alchemy to 25. And then I need to see what else we want to level up next. Um, put one into stamina, and then I'll go back into health. And then I'll probably go back and forth on health and magicka. Uh, melee attacks do 10% more damage. Power attacking, 25%. Less stamina seems pretty good. I wonder if we should go like restoration on this build. I'm tempted to grab empowered manipulations or go ahead and get... Uh, oh, we should probably get alchemy perk actually. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. It'll be nice to be able to craft some potions. All right, let's go grab the treasure map. So I guess it ultimately depends. We're going alchemy evasion two-handed illusion it's four skill trees if i decide to go the sneak route let's sneak well we also have speech i need to remember we're doing speech perks um oh we don't need to go restoration because we're going alchemy so i'm gonna say no to alteration so i think I just have to try the sneak stuff and see. It might just be too many perks as well. It's 
you surmise that you invented Skyrim completely. X edit is uh is advanced XL. Microsoft XL. That's what X edit is. Uh what's the first thing I want to get to 50? I might just take illusion to 25 next. I might just rush two-handed to 50 for the damage. I don't know. I don't think we have a Because Adept Illusion, maybe it's just Illusion. I'm trying to remember what the Adept Illusion spells are. Adept Illusion gets us... Oh, actually, wait, Shadow Cloak rank 3 is Adept. Ooh, maybe we should do that then. Well, we'll at least go Illusion to 25, so that'll solve that. Uh, let's do health and survive a little bit better. And then I think we should go potions that restore health, magical, all beneficial potions. We get 20% stronger healing potions, essentially. Or we go empowered manipulations. So can't dual cast that now, but if we take that off, we can. Yeah. Definitely worth. I think getting well, uh, one of us has to do something. getting dual cast Shadow Cloak is pretty important. I don't know what over. Take a look. I need to remember that we have these staves. Damn thieves! As if things weren't bad enough. There we go. Sources of shout cooldown for this build, not counting Talos Nord, but we also have the Lover Stone, so that's one. Um, we have the first perk in speech. We have the gift of gab that we'll be going for. The Talos blessing itself gives you a ton. There's derive shout cooldown. And, uh, for like super late game, we'll probably be going with, uh, we'll be kind of switching it up between Greybeard robes and the new cultist armors, which... Why is this saying unknown location? That's super strange. Oh, I know why. Because we jumped, maybe, actually no, this might not be why. I was gonna say, maybe it's because we got on the boat. We, we entered the cell or whatever, and then we, and then we jumped off. I don't know. I might have missed. Seems fine. Nothing game breaking yet, at least. Uh... I mean, we'll check out the Shrine of Talos. I'm just wondering, are there any enchanted battle axes? that are worth going for. Aside from getting uh, the Rufal Axe, Uthrad. Hmm. 
Luthrad's like it's okay, but it's not even like anything super crazy. Because more damage to elves, but it's like okay. By the time I get Wuthrad, I'm probably fucking destroying elves, let's be real. And then the other side of it is I don't really want to go werewolf. But yeah, the Wuthrad base damage is really high, but I don't want to go werewolf on this build. That's true. We could get the one that scales with uh, Dragon's Old Soul Harvester. Um, I didn't really plan on going vampire since we just did like two vampire player, uh, two vampire characters back to back. But I guess theoretically we could go vampire to get even more damage on it. But I don't think that damage is as significant anymore, so it might not even be worth it. I want to get out of the... I haven't tested if it was fixed, uh, but it got it got Forn fixed, so we'll see. I don't have my soup going anymore, so I'm going to take a potion. Um, I think it was in the change log, so that tells you as much as you need to know. Between the dodge perk and dual cast shadow cloak, we should be pretty all right against arrows, I feel like. Oh, and especially if we're we're getting headshots like that. I think I want to get a lane's armor pretty early. Uh, and also join the Dark Brotherhood kind of early. Because we can get uh, extra armor penetration with the uh, Dark Brotherhood gauntlets. I'm trying to think. I didn't like add anything that would change locational data. I almost feel like it's because we jumped on board of that ship, but at the same time, it's it shouldn't be because this was before the ship. Abandoned prison. Here's quiet. I don't know. I don't know what this is all about. Yeah, fighting him is a lot harder now, too. As much as I don't really want to do this. I might have to end up going Warhammers for dragons because battle axes are just not the best. to discover Helgen. Nest thermostat bullshit. I set it. I set my AC to a temperature earlier, but I forgot to tell it to how long to last. And then it switches back to eco mode, which is making it insanely hot in the house. 
<sighs> if I didn't live in Florida, I'd vent my fucking PC to the outside. If I vented it to the outside right now, I'm afraid it would just uh, let all the heat in. Do that just in case some random ass archer on the road. You never know. His laptop out on the deck in the winter. <laughs> it's a an all natural cooler, laptop cooler. Yeah, I can see that working pretty well. You know what's really cool? If we do manage to go the sneak route, we wouldn't necessarily have to use illusion spells for uh, invisibility. We could use illusion spells for muffle. Until we get like the later level of illusion, but we could use the uh, the uh, illusion spells for muffling, and then we can use potions for invisibility. Mud crabs? I do not know what you're talking about. Uh, I really don't want to become a werewolf on this build. But... Oh, I forgot to do the companion BS bat file. But I would not mind um, doing a silver hand location to get silver battle axe. I'm not going to lie, this would be kind of nice. I think I am going to buy that. I guess I should have crafted a... Speech potion first, but that's okay. We are creatures of the take a look. Might have to end up grabbing some block perks as well. I might have to just like nix the whole sneak idea. Had red mud crabs? Oh, gotcha. I don't know. Whatever the base anvil list uses for mud crab textures. What I have, I don't have anything replacing it. City's closed with the dragons about. Actually, wait. Fine. 
I forgot we do have better prices because we're Loverstone. Oh man, we should have made a speech potion, talked to Yasolda first, and then bought that, but it is what it is. Having this 100% region is definitely going to help out in the early game. We'll Light armor builds burn through potions. I enjoy this work well enough. Sure thing, it's yours for a day. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. I'll show you to your room, right this way. Um, we'll do a couple white run locations. I'm not going to do the whole white run gauntlet, though. Yeah, I play with 115 FOV. Come to chat with an old I know your family's honor is important. You tried murder. He fed his entire family with it. It took me weeks to find that where did he send me? I didn't even see. Come see my collection of Sometimes I'm. He fed his entire. I don't know why I'm saying this, but. Oh, <sighs> silent moons. I didn't want to do silent moons. I don't have anything to sell him. All right, I'll be right back. Against the dragon. I would have preferred a uh, 
cop. A nice Let's Veterans Retreat or Halted Stream. Come to Dragon's Reach to the Dragons. Hmm? What? Rules. Project? You... Now. Well, go to Bleak Falls Bear. Would you be so good? You're clearly better suited than I am to carry out such a team. You know, when you've got the app. You know, I guess for dragons, actually, maybe we don't need to go uh, Warhammers. Maybe we just need to go Poisons. Maybe Poisons is the way to go. That might be an idea. Okay. I think leveling Alchemy might be the play. Ah, Isolde, was it? What Once I, you to the I met one of the... You do that? Owning a farm As promised. Advantages. Let me show you a thing or two about bargaining. Let me know if there's anything you like. Doing a... Nord Barbarian Shout Build. You look rather pale. Uh, oh, but I suppose you expect some compensation. Um, here. These potions should suffice. Nice. If there's anything I can help you with, you have but to ask. <gasps> Juvenile mud crab has two-handed fortification. Fuck yeah, dude. That's actually really nice. I sell cures for all ills, and I'll be happy to serve you. Mmm, very nice. I wish the menu here told me how many empty bottles I had left. I don't really need to make poisons quite yet. We can deal with most bandits. We'll just, uh... We'll rush getting Hearthfire home. I'll make a few just so we have them. Um, where's Fortify Stamina? If there's anything I can help you with, you have but to ask. Finishing a similar build, going to Throat of the World. Well, good luck. Nah, I think I'm going to drop the whole sneak idea. Maybe save that for another day. I think I'm going to lean more into the barbarian side of things. What I'd like to do... I'd like to get some shouts unlocked and then go do Soulstime stuff. How many empty bottles did I have? I have four left. It's fine. Now we don't need to buy any po poisons, we'll just make our own. I should have just started this build as a uh, a serpent build, serpent stone build, and then switch to Mafala or switch to Lover Stone after doing uh, Black Reach. Probably wouldn't have probably would have been the better way to do it. Start Serpent Mafala, the Meech Classic. Let's go gradual restore stamina. Uh, fortify health and uh, vegetable soup. A nice little uh, seared slaughterfish. I 
Hello one, the best build. I will say that my my shout necro build starting off as oh shit, I forgot to uh ah. Well, I only have time to single cast it now. My shout necro build starting off with uh Serpent Mafala made getting the capstone for Talos much easier. <laughs> You start running so I can stab you in the back. Ooh, enchanted dagger. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, it was one of light out of his fire. from my magic to regen. Why is Hearthfire Homes got broke? Not a clue on that one, man. Pretty strong. Face tank almost any enemy. And then... Face tank in... in light armor? What you talking about? Nice job not wearing a helmet there, dipshit. Ah, went Zenithar. Game, I need you to not fucking stutter while they're power attacking at me. Playing Wild Lantern for the first time. Tips for two-handed warrior build. Early game. <coughs> Excuse me. Been so while since it's been such a long time since I've played like vanilla Requiem. I barely even remember all the changes that I barely even remember what is in vanilla Requiem sometimes. Uh but two-handed warrior and vanilla requiem will do just fine. I just uh I don't know about Vanilla leveling. Alchemy will will go a long way, that's for sure. Oh, I'm gonna get hit. Alchemy can carry you. That's that'll it'll help more than you can imagine. Uh, make sure you use food buffs. Food buffs very important. Treat your stamina like a second health bar. Ooh, two remarkable healers, nice. If your stamina goes down, your health will be next. What's up, Kai? Yeah, beef stew is really good. Vanilla Requiem. Oops. If you're going two-handed, I would go... Uh, I would go either great swords or battle axes for undead. 
and war hammers for pretty much everything else. Well, one of the problems with Wildlander is that it's going to be on vanilla leveling, so you're not really incentivized to go out and level your skills by playing the game and doing combat. You're more incentivized for <clears throat> leveling up crafting skills and not actually fighting anything and getting perks and whatnot, like abusing alchemy and whatever. Uh, a lot of enemies late game like centurions and dragons have pretty decent uh slash resistance so battle axes and uh, battle axes and uh, great swords just aren't as good uh, but then on the other side of it uh, war hammers uh, offer more armor penetration and later game enemies have a lot of armor rating so it's Good to get through the armor. Shit, my guy died. I'm just gonna have to run him out of fire. Don't fight back, and I promise I'll kill you. Fool out of your blood. No, he just actually decided to give me a free win. I don't honestly remember how good or bad heavy armor is in vanilla Requiem. Uh, I mean, if you're, you're probably not playing permadeath, I'd imagine. So I'd just say go light armor. You'll have more fun. Just expect to probably die a little bit more. It seems like being out in the wilderness is giving me unknown location, but... I don't know what that is. I mean, I re-ran Dendu lot and everything, so maybe that's what's causing it? No idea. Walk forward, dodge back. Walk forward, dodge back. Got a red guard, but I swing fast. Did I finish reloading that? Son of a bitch. How much charge do I have left on this? Decent amount. I'm probably okay to fight these guys without, but we have this, so I feel like we might as well use it. Oh yeah, I was gonna re-up this. Damn you! Are you prepared to die? 
I just somehow hit my own teammate. Definitely made this a lot safer. Another fortify smithing potion. Okay. Something funky going on in my game. It's given me tons of fortify smithing potions and quarterstaff bandits. And I, I don't like it. Because I'm neither playing a quarterstaff build, nor am I playing a smithing build. No, I used a raised dead staff to resurrect a bandit. Not a follower. She did. She even got cool, like, dead face paint. Have you ever some bearable in Villa Requiem? Too sure to get off the ground. Yeah. The fuck did you do? Do I get more insights if I kill you? Sag. Bounty three. All right. Uh, thief. Alchemy. Come to me. Uh, health. And I'll probably put one more in stamina, and then I'll go back and forth on health and magicka. Um, with this perk, I kind of want to get Apprentice Illusion, but I don't think I can cast the spells anyways. I don't know why I'm focusing on alchemy so heavily. I don't need it quite yet. Getting this perk will be pretty good, though. All right, I think I'm going to get the two-handed battle axe perk first. Battle axe focus. And then we'll focus on um, probably getting two-handed to 35, get that perk, and then the rest into alchemy. And then start focusing on evasion and illusion. I think that's probably the plan. I don't know if I'll get the regen perk. I might. I mean, I have this regen ring, which is really nice. Let's see, Shadow Cloak, Gradual Restore. might take I might go ahead and just do silent moons so why not Oh, yeah, to become champion of Talos in regular F tweaks. Yes, it's complete the Civil War, uh, but uh, I had made a plugin for this before. Uh, I just forgot to save it, but uh, DB Meech was kind enough to share his plugin with me a little while ago. Uh, that changes it so that you can also become the champion of Talos by uh, completing Basically by learning Dragon Rend. Like completing the quest to learn Dragon Rend. Alright, we're getting our ass kicked. Yeah, how's it feel, bitch?
Well, I'm not against alchemy in uh, three tweaks. I still think, I mean, honestly, any of the crafting skills are really strong. I think alchemy is just the best one for early game because of the amount of resources you can get from it. It's easier to get the resources for alchemy than it is for enchanting. Or not even necessarily just that. It's just the... Or like making early game enchantments is not very good. Smithing early game gear is not very good. Sure, early game potions aren't very good, but potions in general are good. What are we talking about? Yeah, well, to be honest, the, the real reason we died to Ancano's uh, laser beam is because I didn't realize that taking a potion while in shadow intangibility, the potion doesn't actually take effect. Uh, so I did not have above 90 magic resist, and then I just got obliterated. All right, with my health. No, smithing is really good. Are you kidding me? Uh, dragon bone weapons are absurd. Dragon bone weapons are actually insane. Uh, and now with smithing having augmentation, you can actually uh, get away with going pure smithing and being fine. My potions do their thing real quick. Oh yeah, hone metal is just not balanced for Requiem in my opinion. Hone metal just doesn't belong in a Requiem War 3 BF tweaks list. It just breaks the point of getting crafting skills. I have... Well, I was I had a potion going whenever my whenever my region was going that fast. Yeah, honed metal is a mod that lets you uh use um use like smithing and uh wizard npcs to basically get free crafting you can pay a smith to smith you stuff and depending on their level they'll be like be tempered and whatnot okay oh did i break his bow that's unfortunate resurrect him.
Perfect. That was best fucking case scenario. Holy shit. Now we don't have to worry about Ron in the long range. And we got him poisoned. Good lord. Oh, look at that. And we we hit the, the high-leveled one. Perfect. Perfect. Oh god, let's not get stuck on a rock. I'll have your head on a bike. Thirty K, where the fuck did you see thirty K? Oh. Oh no, you just got a bound weapon. An invisible bound weapon? Oh god. the rest of uh chat makes sense you're talking about honed metal all right let's play with the bear guys you guys like playing with bears no god damn it these fuckers the bear is one thing but i'm not just gonna take them to the mammoths all right, just fucking power attack me. Well, now we don't even get a Ron challenge. You're a fool to test me. McDonald. I need to get the uh, ref IDs for those mammoths that spawn over here and fucking delete them. I'm so sick of the mammoths getting involved over here. been fine fighting Ron because I was just going to poison my battle axe and dodge his power attacks and get a few hits in and call it a day. Alright, what's wearing off? Shadow Cloak. No, I didn't I didn't grab the poacher's axe. It's too heavy. Uh-oh. I'm out of stamina.
Come on. What is up with all the freaking quarter staves? This is crazy. Also, I think that's the second time I've seen a Nordic quarter staff in that chest. No, the the dagger stamina drain is still a thing. All right, that is a bounty four. Look at all damn insights. Uh, let's go warrior to 35. And then we can go alchemy the rest of the way. We'll go one more into health. Next one can go into magicka. I'm going to take the more damage. More damage. How long this last? Level 30. What level is Ron? Oh, of course. He's 35. Lame. Alright. Gradual restore stamina is about to wear off. We'll let it wear off and then we'll reapply a new one. Fortify health, we still have 11 minutes on, so that's good. Uh, the good thing is, with the treasure map that we have, to go over to... Uh, it's over in Windhelm, and I want to go to Windhelm next anyways. So that works out pretty well. I'm going to need to make probably a fire resist potion for Windhelm. Take on Trader's Post. Yeah, we also had the uh, enchanted staves we could have used. Oh, I need to go get the, uh, the feather falling ring. All right, self-made recuperation, or uh, not recuperation, but whatever it's called. Uh, we're on 1.1 progressive leveling right now. The mage, we did 1.0 progressive leveling, but it's still felt a little too fast. No, that's not a hand placed. It's That was random loot. Yeah, there's only one archer in here. Well, I guess there could be a second archer in here, but we'll just hope it's one. Oh god, oh god, oh god. You won't live to see tomorrow. Oh look at that, another quarter staff. Oh boy. Here's where things get difficult. I hear another voice. Yeah, I thought I heard something. Another quarterstaff bandit. Oh, no, no, wait, wait. This is the one from the inside. Never mind. She just, like, teleported to a weird area. Got disoriented. There she is. Elven bow was indeed scary. Bounty two.
That's Fortify Two-Handed. That's Resist Magic. So I want to collect these. Typically, mushrooms are pretty good. Trying to get high on these mushrooms over here. The bounty system I use is a series of bat files that I just have set up to add the insight to my inventory along with uh, some gold. So I just type in BAT and then whatever I name the bat file into the console. And then it essentially uh, executes the command. So right here, if I type in BAT Bounty 2, I have a, a text file. It's just titled Bounty 2 in the data folder that will do player dot add item this, player dot add item this, player dot add item this. And I have uh, tiers one through six. There are Bounty Quest Redone mod, but I tend to have issues occasionally with it, and my bat file system is uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, the only thing is if I change up my load order and the order of where F tweaks is in my load order changes, then I have to update the, the second value. Um, so the five and the seven, those have to get updated. Obviously the gold value never changes. Uh, let's see here. We can level up a little bit of evasion. We can kind of do some balanced leveling here. Some back and forth. Uh, we'll go one point into Magicka now. Um, yeah, it's just a nice way to streamline things. I'm not going to lie. Kind of tempted to grab this. But we have so many other perks we need to grab. Like... This one. Being that we are uh, lover stone, our potions last 25% longer, which is actually pretty nice. If anyone's wondering why I just drank those invisibility potions, it's because I get empty bottles whenever I drink potions, and I need empty bottles to craft my own potions. But I have 17 empty bottles, so we should be alright. The real reason is so this wolf can't see me fuck him up! Uh-oh. That just... Hey, that didn't... I don't understand the... I really don't understand the staff drain bug. It's like a bug that will drain the enchantment charge, depending on how the staff is equipped with hotkeys and whatnot. I thought for sure that would have caused it right there, but it didn't. Just in case of random archer. One good thing is this build isn't really dying to get an effigy right off the bat, so don't have to worry about risking things for a Grand Soul Gem. At least when we do Ben Congarike for uh, the Barbarian set, we'll get a Grand Soul Gem at the end of that dungeon if we don't have one by then.
Really? Greatest Skyrim hitbox action. Yeah. Point blank range right to the face. Completely missed. Kenrith, watch that elk's back. Yeah. Kenrith was like, I got you, fam. I want you die on my watch. Need to look into why these saves are being classified as unknown locations. bugging me. Might not be causing issues that I know of yet, yet at least, but it's still bugging me. Alright, in before filled Grand Soul Gym. No. Well then... Okay. 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 It's one of those runs. I mean, that's not the... It's not the best... It's not the best one we could have gotten. Uh, no. I don't play a survival. Yeah, the, I do like the grass. The grass does look nice. Uh, cathedral. Alright, we got a bunch of stuff to sell off, though. Silver bolts I don't need. Silver arrow I don't need. Still slightly over encumbered. There we go. Um, evasion. But, you know, I'll take six move movement speed. I don't like Frostfall because uh, it, or like just like a, yeah, I don't like the Frostfall type of mods because it really shoehorns you into playing into the same locations constantly. It's like another reason that makes Whiterun and Riften, like Whiterun and Riften are already like the better starting locations. And it really just makes it like Whiterun, Riften and Falkreath are the best locations to start already. Like starting in Dawnstar or Winterhold or Solitude, uh, even Windhelm, they're already a little bit more difficult just by the uh, bandit locations that are in those areas. So having Frostfall just makes them even less good, makes them worse starting locations. And I don't really like that. Uh, but then as far as needs go in, in F tweaks, you're pretty much always constantly eating and drinking anyways. So... It already kind of has its own survival system in place, in a way. Damn it. Did the, the classic Skyrim I bought instead of sold. I gotta get, I gotta use up some of these staves. Weighing too much. Alright, he already had a bunch of gold anyways from me uh buying the enchanted ring. So it's not like I gave him a bunch of gold to sell stuff to. Uh keep those <coughs> I hope that you will come to oh, I know a, a weapon upgrade we can get. I mean, it's not the best. We can get the uh, steel battle axe of fiery souls. One of my recent starts. Dude, starting in Dawnstar and Winterhold is really not that bad. I've had some pretty nice starts over there. 
uh, with ghouls, uh, two dungeons in Dawnstar makes it very doable. And then like, so like if you start in Dawnstar, you can do either uh, Hellas, not Hellas Folly. Um, Brittle Brine can be a little difficult because you're out in the open. So I usually go Hellavood first, then go Brittle Brine. And then you can do um, Hobbs Fall Cave. I'm just going to know. Then you can do Snow Point Beacon, I think it is. Don't do Fort Fellhammer. That one's a fucking trap. Um, there's like seven archers outside. Unless you're like full heavy armor and got a lot of healing potions, I don't recommend doing that one. But then you can go do Snow Point Beacon. And then after that, you can make your way over to Winterhold, where you can do Bleak Coast Lookout and then make your way down to Wreck of Winter War. And then you can do uh, Ingol Barrow if you're heavy armor and you can kill Ingol. Then you can do Trader's Post and you can come back over this way, do Uttering Hills. And you can make your way down south. You can do Lost Knife, circle back over here and you can do Rift Watchtower, Nilheim, end on like Trevor's Watch and then Felder's Tooth and do all the stuff in Riften. So it's like a nice little path you can do. Or alternatively, you can just go Dawnstar over to Solitude and Solitude down to Orotheim and then start doing some of the bandit locations or the small Forsworn camps in Markarth and make your way to Whiterun. So many things you can do. All right, we just need to return the sword. Depends on the configuration uh, for Yorlin being locked behind. Uh, I'm sure, I haven't played with played with that mod in a super long time, so I could not tell you, hundred yeah, percent. We definitely need to use up some of these staves so we can sell them off. Yeah, Markarth and you and Morthal are by far the worst locations work? to start. You Thank you. Here. My father had a favorite sword and sure. Markarth does have two locations that Ghoul Smasher added. If you play with his simple bandit uh, mod, or I think it's called simple bandits. Uh, there's Karth River Refuge. And I don't know where the other one is. I don't know if he's added it yet or if that's still a work in progress. But this is a this is a bandit location just underneath Skyhaven Temple. And you don't have to worry about any Forsworn on your way to it, which is really nice. Uh, the other location you can do early on is Four Skull Lookout. That's just a small little bandit location, but you have to go past Kolskegger Mine, which does have some uh, Forsworn on the outside. So you have to be worried about that. Unfortunately, there's not really like a good way to get from Karth River to Four Skull. Be nice if there was. But then after Four Skull, you can like come up this way and do. Uh, yeah, no, you really gotta you gotta come up like over here. You can do like Dragon Bridge Overlook. Yeah, there's not really a whole lot going on in Markarth. Just go Movart Slayer and get some decent ebony armor. Or get some nice ebony armor. Facts. Okay. Um, let's see here. I think we're just off to Windhelm, right? Windhelm it is. Yeah, for vanilla Requiem, uh, alchemy is Definitely your best source of gold. Yeah, you either have to cut through Karthspire or go around the long way and pass by Kolskegger. Going the long way and passing by Kolskegger is a lot safer, though. Going through Karthspire River is, uh, suicide. Hmm? Where do you want to go? Yeast March. Going Trying to get yeasty. Through, you want to stop somewhere along the way? Uh, uh, wait, hold on. All right, then. Let's go do White River Watch. Actually, I want to get uh the. I want to get the Feather Falling Ring.
Yeah, unless you want to do like a bandit bounty bat file system. I don't think the I don't think the bounties and like miscellaneous quests pay out that much in Wildlander. I'm really not sure though. Black Reach level one. Start there in uh, F tweaks and you can get the Grey Prince Mace. All right, I think right now the current plan. Let's see here, we got Shadow Cloak running. Let's go ahead and up that. Current plan is to go to Windhelm, get Elaine's armor, do a couple more bandit locations, go to Morthal, kill Irvinon, get his necklace, and then uh, after that, it's going to be time for... Oh, shit. Leak Falls Barrow. I'll get too ahead of ourselves. Make it there first. This stupid walking back and forth nonsense. I really don't one shot yet. That's lame. save the uh, enchanted bolt for the guy at the top. What the fuck just happened? Where did my bolt even go? You know, I'm about to commission Ghoul to fix the terrain in this this area. There's so many fucking enemies on my on my marker here. Holy shit. Okay, I'm just gonna take the outside. archers here. I think we pulled the guys from the back of the dungeon. Oh, see that drag shot. Playing some Halo Reach over here. Only problem with this position. Oh, God. Is that we're leaving our, our head vulnerable. Get away with that. Come 
first, and you won't be the you last. You call yourself a nerd? Ha! Isgrimor would be ashamed of you! My aim with this spell is quite atrocious. My aim with this one is a bit better. that was everybody in the entire fucking dungeon. He's rewarded and ashamed. Completely misses. Uh, I'll take that. What did I just grab? This. Um, is mine horned? I want the horned one. Did I grab the horned one? Wait, or did I already have the horned one? No, I want the horned one. There we go. Yeah, I should have made more poisons. I think is. Is there an alchemy lab? I think there might be an alchemy lab. Oh, actually, you know what? I lied. We do want an effigy. We want uh, the chemist effigy to make stronger poisons. And we need to get the ring of pure mixtures. Um, which means we probably want to do... Oh, we do need to go... We don't need to go werewolf, but we do need to join the companions. Because we need fire breath. Aha, there is an alchemy lab. That's what I thought. All right, lingering damage. There we go. I'm pretty sure that was everybody in here. Yeah, we did somehow pull everyone from the entire dungeon. Oops. Poison the axe, too. Perhaps the wolf survived. Someone's Over here. Hurt, all right. I'll try and make this quick. No, I guess I could have. Wait. Loaded another one. All right, she'll die to poison. I cannot best. Be That was a little scary. Me being in the corner over here. Take a, a potion. Man, that's the third elven greatsword we have found.
Uh, we're gonna put that on eight. That's where I like to put my ring of feather fallings, and then I'll just put that on six. Indeed, time to sell shit. Did we use up some of these? I'm probably going to sell the ice spikes at least. The ice spikes is pretty worthless. Um, Bounty 3. I wouldn't put that on the same level of Silent Moons. Back to the Ring of Mending. Um, let's go ahead and just take Alchemy to... 50, I suppose. Point in health. We got a perk. Where are we going to put it? Uh, might grab the poison perk. Or I save this for 50. And then we can grab catalysis and the rank 2 of 2. I think I might do that. I want to be able to make some pretty good potions moving forward. Because we're going to... We're going to kind of rely on potions and poisons to really carry us through the, uh, the early mid game. We need to go join the companions. Maybe we'll get lucky and they'll send us to Windhelm for our radiant quest. Is elemental powder, you get those from, uh, from alchemy? Yeah, possibly. Might do that. Hell on dead. Yes. No worries. Thank you, Python. Um, let's see here. Uh, we might actually... Oh, wait. Do we get to make the flame powders with the level 50 perk? If so, that's actually going to be really nice. What do we need? What do we need for that? Uh, because that could actually be pretty useful for us. For taking on um, both Bleak Falls and Dustman's Cairn. Yeah, flame powders, actually, if we can make, like, a decent amount, that can carry us through. It Does Talos care about stealing? I can't remember. I feel like he might. I know he doesn't care about murders. Yeah, I know where we can get, uh, even if he does care about stealing, it's probably, like, less than ten items. Um, I know where we can steal at least, like, two or three from Septimus, Cygnus. He has a few, um, fire salts. Is it like one fire salt equals one powder? Hopefully we get more than just one. Uh, we can also use the powders to kill... Uh, I'll probably try to go for an early... Oh, what's his name? What is his name? Coral Mill. Coral Mill. Yeah, there's like three important Draugr dungeons we need to do. We need to do Bleak Falls Barrow. We need to do Forsaken Cave. And we need to do Dustman's Cairn. Three per Fire Salt. That'd be nice. The average religion doesn't care if you kill, but if you steal. Well, in three tweaks, three BF tweaks... Most of the divines don't allow you to murder. I think Talos is the only one that allows murder. Uh, and I, I don't think any of them allow you to steal a, a decent amount. Um, 
A certain strength of spirit. Master, you're not truly considering... Why do they have elven and dwarven gear? I feel like that's kind of strange for the companions, right? Sometimes the famous come to us. Sometimes men and women come to us to seek their fame. It makes no difference. What matters is their heart. And their arm. Of course. How yeah, we'd have battle? to kill a slighted to use that forge, though. That's the spirit. Vilkis here will get started on that. Vilkis, take her out to the yard. And see I don't think I ever noticed there was a chest up there. I... Yeah, you'd think it'd be something like uh, Nordic, uh, either like uh, Skyforge steel or like uh, Nordic carved or something. Well, I mean, they could just put steel on there if they wanted low value. It just doesn't seem, it seems kind of off for the uh, companions to have. Well, I mean, if it's leveled, they can exclude certain types. It's just not very lure-friendly. So All right, here's where we die. Do this. Just have a few swings at oh, so shit, this is poisoned. Don't is he going to care about I that? Take it. Take her. Pretty good arm you have there. Not bad. All right, we're good. Here's my sword. Poison doesn't go through Don't blocks, so that worked. No limits on lifetime bounty, but he does look down on thieves and requires you to pay off. He looks down on thieves. I think that means he allows stealing as long as you don't get caught. I'm guessing you're the new around here. I have a favorite. My wife is in. Well done. No, it says under 10 items stolen. Yeah, so I have to be under 10 items stolen. If you... Ah, good, I've been waiting for this. Are you new here? Yep, I told you. This is the whelp that Vilkis mentioned. Ah, yes. So those 10 items so stolen are going to be under 10. The, the nine oh, items we get to steal <laughs> are going to be fire you salts. You think you handle Vilkis? Here, let's have Farkas show you where you'll be resting your head. Farkas. Did you call me? Of course we did. Ice show this brain. new blood where the rest new of the blood. group sleep. Oh, hello. Skill and Ayala like to take challenges. But all their quarters fast. are up here. Just tell me we'll keep the place clean. Nice to have a new face has. around. I Forget hope it's boring here or something. It's gonna be a rough life. All right, so here you are. <laughs> after he's got updated, what right now? Come to that me would, that would figure right sword. after I. Once you you've made a bit of a name for yourself, Skior and Vilkas might have things for you to do. I don't see an Good update luck. posted Welcome unless you're talking about four point two point two. By the way, if you're looking for something to do, we've got. I'm on 4.2.2 no right now. I don't want to hear about a killing, understand? Try not to get carried away. Void salts, I'm not as worried about. Hey, look at that. Go to Windhelm. Fuck yeah, dude. Let's go. Save some loading screens.
Level, why would I be a level 10 Dunmer Mage? We made it to like level 30 plus Need on the Dunmer Mage. Want to go? We died at the end of the college quest line. The last quest before becoming Archmage. Um, let's see here. We're going to East March. Went straight through, or did you want climb and back, and we'll be off? Ever been to Windhelm? <laughs> Oldest city in Skyrim by some accounts. They say the big old palace there was built by Ysgrimor himself. Uh, Talos did not get changed. Talos has always been under 10 items stolen. It's just the way he... The way it's like worded or whatever. got one cast left on this probably going to use it in Raldbathar it's probably the plan uh, we're doing a Nord lover Talos build evasion two handed illusion alchemy speech might put a few points into block Eat our food, you pollute our Just to be able to hopefully survive dragon encounters. Come on in. We've got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. This here's Candle Hearth Hall. Take a look. Uh, Enjoy your stay. I think at this enough. point I'm gonna use mammoth steak. Got some fresh baked bread and good cheese if you're after a bitey. Sure thing. It's your. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Why you don't put out that candle on the hearth upstairs? Um, I can't remember if I removed it or if I just reduced the uh, aggro range. But if I didn't remove it, then the aggro range is a lot less. Um, alchemy, yeah, we're going to rely on poisons to help us kill dragons, but also... But also, uh, mostly potions for buffs because Loverstone gives 25% longer potions. I'll be fine. <laughs> I'm so close to the. Take a look. Um, actually, I just wanted to start just this quest. Please don't. <laughs> don't dally. I've wasted enough time arguing with my useless assistant here. Um, let's see here. I don't appreciate loiterers. If that resist magic. Ooh, twenty two percent potions. Nice. I just wish they lasted longer. Uh, resist fire, twenty-eight percent. Err. Soul trap. Um, I don't think we have a grand soul gem yet. 
Well, we will at some point. Uh, let's see here. more of those I think there is one that does burning and atoliating oh we might need to go over to soul stein sooner than later because we can uh, we can get some good stuff for for poisons Good to have burning oils in case we come across a troll. Uh, we'll also be good for undead. Yeah, we have a greater soul gem. Uh, let's uh. Let's go hopefully kill Elaine. I don't remember what level of chests are. No wheeler so far. We have one one thing on wheeler, <laughs> but yes, it is a sim more simple build. I'll probably use wheeler for shouts. It's probably the plan if we get to that point. I was you. I wouldn't go around carrying all that gold. Yeah, that's where all my weight is, is all this gold that we have. Might have to drop some of these, uh, double poison battle axe. Like it's a bear. We're going to go Mammoth Steak. <laughs> Can't sneak because of the sound of those coins clanking. Do have a chance for a random enchanted steel battle axe up here, actually. take one of these.
Uh, not enchanted, but that's weird. It's like always been a uh, enchanted axe for me. I don't. I don't think Orcish is good enough to give up the the speed. If I'm being honest. The speed is just too good. All right, we'll do we'll do uttering hills first. Yeah, we'll take an ale. And I'll go grub leaks. The fuck are you guys doing up over this way? All right, I just yeah, I'm about to say I need you to power attack so we can get this over with fast. This this motherfucker has the high ground. Is he gonna drop? That'd be great. Place you got your banner content. Uh, depends on your resistances and gear. Uh, it's very, very heavily gear dependent. If you have good poison resist, like if you can get to 90% poison resist, then you can go do Falmer content as long as you're super careful about the mages. <clears throat> if you have really good uh, resistances overall like uh magical resistances then you could go do like some low level mage content otherwise it'd probably just be undead but if you want to do undead then you want to make sure you have uh if you want to play it super safe you want to be above 40 percent magic resist Oops. Yeah, she's done for I did not want to do that, but okay. Are you prepared to die? Okay, we're just gonna do this. That's not what I wanted to do either. You call yourself Nord? Alright, just gonna hit her with the Jirlin. Oh, never mind, she just put her shield down for whatever reason. Couldn't tell you why. Thirty-nine magic, fifty frost, thirty-one poison. Get two more points into uh, magic resist and go fight some undead. right off his forehead. Yeah, it's to resist being knocked down from unrelenting force. Nobody's here. Really, 
really? You know, I should have made some magic resist now that I think about it. Just in case we come across a trickster. Who's in the back? Okay, two-hander. So I can stab you in the back. I cannot. Want to wear off shadow cloak? Well, we got stats. It's always alteration. Um, only three. I think we're officially good on potion bottles. Okay, so we can go alchemy and then evasion. All right, cool. Next perk will probably be Maybe I shouldn't have gotten Catalysis, but that should hopefully make our uh, potion crafting, um, if we get lucky and get extra potions, then uh, should make it more efficient. All right, Ale's the next thing to run out, but we have eight minutes on it, so we should be fine. First troll. There we go. No sounds for some reason. Quietest dying troll ever. Yeah, I don't know what happened to my my sound effects. Um, other undead locations. I mean, it just depends on what all gear you need. Pro maybe look up what shouts you want to use. Give you a good idea of which undead locations to do. Nice. I don't know what happened to the music.
Oops. Just put poison on this. I uh, should put that on three. Staff. He's done for. Two poisons applied to him. hoping to get my other poison applied to this. Okay. Oh, excuse me. This fight's a lot sketchier now. God. Elaine is on fucking crack. This is insane. to resurrect a guy. Holy shit. I don't think it's worth using this on Elaine. I need to kill the other guy so I can fight Elaine one on one. Oh, I need him to not be blocking. was the way to fucking do it. Let's go. Um, actually, I don't care about this. So, we'll continue wearing this. But I do want those. Alright. Let's go grab our loot, and then I'm gonna have to call it here. Yeah, we really just needed a distraction, is all we needed. Just just needed a guy to tank for just like two seconds, just so we could get some good power attacks in. Oh, 
Another fucking quarter staff. Are you kidding me? Come on. Battle axe. Alright, I'm gonna use it here. Battle axe. Fuck. It's a war axe. Damn it. Well, rip. Um... Probably go two-handed to 50 first. Okay. Well, this is where I'm gonna have to call it. Um... I might be back on later tonight, possibly. Uh, if not, then I won't be back on till at least Wednesday. I will not be on uh, tomorrow. So I will catch you guys either later this evening after dinner or sometime on Wednesday evening. See you guys later. Peace.